What up, YouTube? Cowboys Cards 81 back again with another YouTube video. Today I was uh, sold some cards on eBay and I was thinking, you know, why not show everybody how I send out my cards? I also, uh, whenever I do some trading or care packages, I do it all basically the same way. And I just wanted to share it with you. Here we go. I want to thank you all for. Uh, watching and liking my videos thank you for subscribing hit that bell uh don't forget to comment and uh as always go cowboys here we go so first thing i do i'll just uh, run through one i here is a kike kute 147 and 4.99 Somebody bought it, uh, bought it from me, and this is what I usually do. I usually get, uh, I'll get some, uh, cards together. Usually these, uh, cards will be cards that I, uh, have a lot of or don't, uh, I, I basically call them filler cards. Uh, they're still new. They're brand new. There's nothing wrong with them. So, first thing it acts for is uh, to thicken the load, and also if, you know, maybe it's a little kid buying them, uh, it also, you know, he, he has now more to his collection, so it's kind of a win-win for me. So, I'll get these cards, and uh, I'll put it with my logo here. Which I send off kind of for advertisement. Get people to watch my channel and get me more out there. More widespread. A little bit of advertisement for me. I'll put it in a, in a, a what they call a team bag. Buy these on eBay or any uh, local card shop. And it kind of just puts them all together in a nice little package. And those cards that I put in, see now how that's a, a thicker. Uh, the way I like to send it is uh, first first class, and the guy at the the mail at the post office always gives me a little crap if I don't have them thick enough. And instead of putting cardboard or anything in there, I just put them uh, what I call them filler cards. Definitely not any Cowboys cards. Can't do that. So then I, and I also, uh, I go on, I, I have a bunch of these, you buy them on eBay, I call them bubble envelopes, they're, you know, you don't want to get too big of ones, I think this is a 7 by 5 as you can see inside, little bubbles in there, you know, put my, put my uh, card in there. Seal it up real nice. You know, seal it up real nice like that. If it doesn't seal nice, I'm, I'm, I might run a piece of tape over that. Then I uh, put my address up here. I try to write small, but I keep... I always put my return address... Uh, in case it uh, it goes somewhere, you never know what's going to happen. And then I write the other address right here. Uh, I try to write it a little lower because of the postage that they put on here. Uh, is a little bigger than just what they used to put on a little stamp. It requires more of like a sticker. So I, I try to leave the address it's going to a little lower. And I'll write a little smaller. So anyway, that's how I do it. Oh, oh and I also, uh, so it, the reason why I put the filler cards in here is because now it's a little thicker. I think it's a requirement of one quarter inch. Uh, so that helps me get that thickness uh, for the tracking number. I send it, I get the tracking number. And anybody who buys from me, I always send them a tracking number. So that goes with my packaging as well I want to thank everybody for watching my videos and that's right emmett smith 22 go cowboys